So back in October, the White House actually held a cybersecurity summit. And during that summit, uh, they announced that there is a shortfall of about 750,000, almost a quarter of a million cybersecurity professionals here in the United States. Um, obviously, these skills are in high demand and becoming increasingly expensive because of that shortage. What can small business and medium business size owners do today on their own to improve their cybersecurity? Sure, absolutely. So that's a great question. So, you know, we often overlook the easiest steps, the basic cyber hygiene. So I want to kind of talk about some of the more actionable stuff that we could do today, almost implemented uh, without very minimal cost. And in fact, some of these steps that I'm talking about could have prevented some of the major cyber breaches that we've seen in the last couple of years. So uh, we want to make this like an automatic habit, like we, like wearing a seatbelt, right? So. Uh, so I'll kind of talk about a couple things. First one is the passwords. So unfortunately, uh, for the time being, the passwords are still going to be a technology that we still have to navigate around. So from the first part is what I call multi-factor authentication or two-factor authentication, right? So those are things that something you know and something you have. Something you know is your password and, and something you have might be your phone, a third-party authenticator. Uh, it might, you know, akin to, uh, you know, chip and pin right. type math method. Um, uh, Agents, let me just other... spell this out for the audience. This is basically like when you log onto a site, and before they let you all the way into the site, they send you a code to your cell phone, a, a text you normally, or they can give you a call, and you have to put that code in or hit a button on the call. Correct? That is that is correct, right? Uh, so those are available almost on every financial institutions. Uh, email, social media networks, so they all uh, have it, but you have to manually turn that on in a lot of these services. So those are one, one of the primary recommendations that we uh, advise to our businesses uh, from uh, a lot of the businesses. So the other one is not reusing the same passwords. That sounds very simple, and a lot of people will disregard that as why, why does it matter if I use the same password? What we're seeing across the board is if you use the same password for your email, for example, and that is compromised available by, to the cyber criminals, they might take that same exact username and password and maybe compromise your payroll, maybe compromise other your financial institutions account. So what, we're, what we uh, advise our, 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 our folks is, you know, do not use the same password, especially to your critical systems that deals with money, uh, that transfers money uh, to, to, other, to your vendors or your customers or your clients. And again, you know, these passwords are not you know, silver bullet, but they're one of many layers, including using a good, reputable password managers to kind of manage that. The other one that we talk about all the time is regularly backing up your critical information. Right. So what what is your backing up your crown jewels? What is that? What is that to keep your business afloat? Uh, define what that is and kind of secure that first and kind of work your way around it.